doing a great job. As it is called artist play ground and you guys are doing abstract. So I'd like to probably give you a backstory as to what my understanding of abstract art is. So let's start from let's say cave age, right? When they were all rocks. Then somebody started drawing on the rocks, used the rock and made something on the rock. This was the first form of art. Then a major landmark came when paper was invented. Two point perspective, three point perspective, light, shadow, etc. etc. But everything is on real estate. Then came a time when the masters, the guys who practiced realistic art so much that they became so good that their drawing looked like a photograph. But what next? So you've done the pinnacle of realistic art. You've done the best. Then came a time when these same guys masters who were searching for something else. It's like saying if I want to draw a bottle and in realistic art I will look at the color, shading etc etc I'll make a bottle. But if I'm so good I have drawn that bottle thousand million times. A stage will come where I will just draw a line and I'll say this is the bottle. So abstraction in the real sense is coming close to reality as much as possible and deleting what you think is unnecessary. That's the highest form of abstraction. And also philosophically speaking, spiritually speaking, you're always searching for something more. That's how abstraction came into form. But there are various schools of abstraction I'm sure you guys have heard a uh, guy named Rothko. Anybody heard Roth Rothko? Yeah? yeah? So color field painting, right? Rothko, Helen, Frankenheimer. These guys would lay out canvases and put colors, swords of color. He would make paintings this big and just put three colors. And people would sit in front of his paintings and start to cry. So there's nothing there. But the colors trigger some emotions whereby people start to cry. That was Rothko. Then you had Jackson Pollock, who would lay down the canvases and drip paint. That was called action painting. He knew what exactly he wanted, but he was dripping, the, the brush never touched the canvas. And there's another like gestural painting, which is Joan Mitchell. I'm just naming two, three artists in that genre. And abstraction is either this, that, or a combination of three, right? But the key here is that it's a spiritual thing. It is something that the artist is searching beyond realistic. So a lot of people say even a child can do this. I am I'm, I'm sure because Picasso, for example, he was a trained artist for so many years and last few years of his life the only thing he said was that I would like to paint like a child. I want to get away from all the rules of established art and if I can become a child again that's the best. So in that searching thing he made cubism art etc etc right. If this is all a search towards abstract. Same as with philosophy where we have this question of why we are here, what do we do, where do we go, etc, etc. But the search should go on and abstraction is now a recognized form of art which if we all enjoy the process, we should continue to do so. So I congratulate all the artists here for putting up a nice show here and my key takeaway here for all you guys is as long as you enjoy the process, be playful, forget the rules of art, mix watercolor with oil, stick something, do whatever you want. It's the process that is very important. It's not the end product really. 
If you've enjoyed the process, you've uh, achieved it.